Parkinson's. Go be a Melvin. Don't hire a Melvin. Yeah. All right, since I know everyone is paying attention right now, ain't no one in here still got their earbuds in because everyone is here to win, right? Ain't no one here is just going to just be like, dude, I'm already here to fail. Ain't no one woke up in the morning and say, dude, I'm going to fail it at life today. Right? Okay. All right, so let's, let's get this going then. Class. Yes. That was pretty weak. That was pretty weak. Why, why, why are you so weak there? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Diddy's not here. Okay. Hey, okay. Got, got to pour out a little, little 40 ounce for Diddy. Okay. You know. So, let's try this again. So, so in memory of Diddy. All right. Class. And people playing on their phone. Diddy! Diddy! We were just talking about you. And DJ. And ain't no way we were talking crap about him. So, all right, on these notes today, what page we are? 37. So you're going to write a 37 on the top of your notes, right? So I know everyone updated their table of contents because that's what they do before we start all this, right? Okay. This, this 37. Euler circuits and Euler paths. Both of these. Okay, we're going to go through. Now, what do you think a circuit is? This, 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 this is the thing where it goes back to the start. goes back to the start. It's a loop. It goes back to the beginning, right? Yes. So a path is a one direction. One direction, basically. I don't go back to the start, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, 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 dude, you walk up in here late, don't be like that. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, you got your notes, let's do some notes. All right, Euler path is a path that travels through every edge of a graph once and only once. It travels through every path once and only once. That's super important. So that means I have to take every single road. Each edge must be traveled, and no edge can be retraced. So it can only go over it one time, can't go over it a second time. So, in this case, a Euler path, it says a Euler path starts here. So, item by item. So, if you notice, there is a sequence, sequence to this. So, A to B, E, F. D, B. So can I go back through the same intersection? Yes. I can. I can go back through the same intersection. I can go through the same vertex. Okay, I can go through the same one. I just can't travel the same road. So from B, I go to C, E, D, and G. Okay. So every time that we do this, okay, think of it as you cannot pick up your pencil. You're going to trace through this without picking up your pencil. Okay, so you're going to go from one place all the way to the other, and you can't go back over anything twice. Now, a lot of people, when I was helping them with the homework yesterday for the 14-1, if you draw the diagram, it's easier to see what paths you use, and as you count through and trace through the path. So, I highly recommend every single one of these questions when you're doing the homework, draw it out, trace it out. You guys can use some colored pencils or highlighters, which I have back there in the back of the room. It's gonna make your life easier. Anything to make your life easier. Circuit is a circuit that travels through every edge of the graph once and only once. You cannot go back over a road twice, okay? And the circuit, like all circuits, Euler circuit must begin and end at the same vertex. This one is gonna start and end at A. So from this one right here, it's the same pathway, but they just added another one from G to A. So to B, E, F, D, B, C, E, D, G and back to A. 
So, you know, it says you do it. I didn't pick up the pen, didn't pick, pick it up at all. It traced through the whole thing. Does that make sense? You zone out there for a second? Okay. Where'd you get lost? How's this different? How's it different? Let's, so it actually gives me a step. So step one, so start at A, go to question, go to one. Yes, that guy. Very good. There we go. Different ending. So right here. So this one, it's it's almost the same. So A, B. So I'm not picking up E, F, D, B, C, E, D, G, and back up to A to finish. Same where I started. Okay. All right. Good. So. Make sure you go through, and as you're doing this yourself, you're going to number them to show your pathway that you're going to take. Now, Euler's theorem this is important here. If a graph has exactly two, I know you guys are underlining, highlighting, or all this, exactly two odd vertices if it has exactly two odd vertices then it has at least one euler path but no euler circuit so in my diagram that i'm asking you to draw out on your homework so if it's talking about degrees you need to go to every vertex and then label the degree at that vertex so if there is at least one, I'm sorry, exactly two odd vertices, could it, could it have three odd vertices? No. Could it have one odd vertice? No. 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 Only if it has two odd vertices, it will have at least one Euler path, but no circuit. That means that I can go all the way through it and cover every road, but I'm not gonna end at the beginning. That's important on this one. So this definition is gonna help you through a lot of these things. If a graph has no odd vertices, all even vertices, okay, no odds, it has at least one Euler circuit, by which definition is also a Euler path. So this is one of those weird definitions. All thumbs are fingers, but are all fingers thumbs? No, they're not all thumbs, right? Thumbs are not fingers. Thumbs are fingers. They are phalanges. Huh? Yes, but it is a finger. So, all thumbs are fingers. But not all fingers are thumbs. Right there, just blew your mind right there, right? Now, you guys ready? Because of this, if it is a circuit, it is also considered a path. If it is a circuit, it is also considered a path. If it is, like, I'm trying to tell you an answer, but, you know, everyone just zoning out. If it is a circuit, it is also a path. Euler circuit can start and end at any vertex. Any. So, the circuit, we can start it anywhere, and it will still work out. Think of a racetrack. Think of NASCAR. They just built one in Okay, so NASCAR. So, does it matter where they start their race? No, why? They're just they're just keep going the same route, right? It doesn't matter where they start. They're always just going to keep going around the same track. So that's the deal with the circuit. It can start and end anywhere on any of those vertices. It's just we're doing the same path no matter what. If a graph has more than two odd vertices, 
then it has no Euler path and no Euler circuit. So when you're doing the homework and you go through, you draw it out, and you label, and you say, all right, this has three odd vertices. I can stop right there. Once I know that it has three odd vertices, is it going to have a path? No. Is it going to have a circuit? No. It's not going to have either. So that's prepping yourself to making yourself successful in doing these problems. Yes, doctor? One of the most famous here. Okay, it says explain why the graph in the figure has at least one Euler path. Before I do anything, what did I say to do? Odd vertices, number it, right? Okay, so A, what's the degree? Two. B. C. D, E, all right, odds and even numbers. It has exactly two odd vertices, doesn't it? Yes, sir. If it has exactly two odd vertices, it has at least one Euler path, but is there a circuit? No, Euler. So I'm not ending at the same place that I'm starting. OK. You people. So this one has a path, no circuit. Circuit. C-I-R-C-U-I-T. C-I-R-C-U. Wow, I did spell it correctly. All right, you people are trying this one right now. And I got a prize for the first person that tells me they can get it. Do you have it on your paper? And you're going to have to number it, too. Make sure you number it so you can see yourself going back over it. You did? Done. I know it. I didn't number it. Done. I got you, man. Just tell you. He said it first, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him. You, you start at A. Okay. Now, I know that's not going to work. If you start at A, that's not going to work. Really? No, okay, think of it, think of it. Now, here's the reason why. It's a path, not a circuit, and if it was a path, it's not going to end at A, right? And so since there's only one road going back up to it, it's not there. Yep, that's not a good place to start. It's up to you, what you got? Hold on, hold on, hold on. E C. Uh, oh. You start at E, right? Yes. E to C. And then A to B. Then. Wait, wait. From C, you went where? A. You went to A. Uh, then I went to B. It was C, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Then I went to D. And then you went to D. Hey, hey. You, you went, okay, D. I went to B. To E. He went to E. He asked me. You went to B. Then I went back to D. That's what I did. 
Is that all of them? Yeah. Look at that. Good job. I'll give you a full dose of diabetes. Diabetes. No, you gotta say it like that. It's not diabetes. It's diabetes. With a sprinkling of diabetes. Honestly. All right. Good job. See. Remember when I said these are just puzzles? Going through, and yes, you're actually solving math, but it's a puzzle. There is a process to it. Now, before I get too far into this, okay, he brought up a point, and I had to address it. <clears throat> Could we start at A? No. No, why, why, why couldn't we start at A? Because there's two pathways. There's two pathways going there, right? So if I start at A, then because there's, I still have to cover that other pathway, that means that... I would have had to come all the way back to finish it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so where was a good start? E. E. Why? They were odds. They were odds. That's always good. So if they're odds, that always is going to work there. Okay, if you can start it like that, then that's always going to help you out. So that's a good start. Back to this thing right here. This is uh, Euler's theorem to sol problem solve and solving this uh, situation. Remember this? I was talking about Cronenberg. Okay. Cronenberg. Cronenberg, Germany. Yeah. With the seven. Yep, seven bridges. Let's do the seven bridges right now. Yes. Can you? Sure. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, dude. Who this? Okay, here's that Cronenberg thing again. Seven bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I were to try and do this one now, if I were to try and do this one now, what would be the first step I would have to do to try and solve for this one? Odd vertices. Count the vertices, right? So L is three. A is R is, and B is, all right, so what does that tell me? All odds. So that tells me that there is? Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 if it has more than two odd vertices, then it has no path and no, no circuit. circuit. Right. Okay. Super easy now, right? Yeah. So by going back through and learning this stuff, we, we, we instead of beating our head trying to figure that out, we can just stop there. I, I got that just, uh, right there we go. All right, there is, I believe, example four, and that's it. But I'm going to leave off here. And... This algorithm, we're going to mess with this again on Monday. So make sure you guys all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button and support my channel. Buy the Diddy merch.